Hey guys, 2D Gamer back again, and today I'm just going to show you a quick and cheap and easy way to take your old RF signal and convert it into composite cables. And you know, a lot of the retro consoles don't have composite output, so you got to hook them in through an RF. And I know they sell like adapters and stuff like that, but uh, this is just cheap and easy way, and all it requires really is a VCR. So. Just hook it up real quick and got the uh, actually this is the one that came with my 7800 it's just a composite cable with a little RF adapter on it I don't know if that's the original one I, I doubt it is but hey it works you just plug it into the back of the Atari and uh, you know screw the RF into the back of a VCR and this is helpful you know if if you're looking to capture video for your retro consoles and you don't really know how to do it, you know, it's just a simple, cheap, easy way. Uh, just requires a VCR, and if you're wondering, well, I got rid of my VCR, so where do I find one? Um, you can find them all over the place in thrift shops. And if you're a retro gamer, you're probably familiar with uh, thrift shops anyway. So, you know, I got the RF hooked in, and, well, and as you see, there's a problem here. This is not a stereo VCR, as you can tell. So, simple fix. Use the same Y splitters that you should be familiar with if you capture video. So, you make a makeshift stereo. It's not as though the console was in stereo sound anyway. So, let me see if I can get that in there with one hand. And there you go. You now have a makeshift stereo setup. So, plug in. Let's see. Uh, and for the video. I don't have a yellow one for whatever reason, an extra yellow, so I'll just plug this white into the video. Video. And you can see I have my capture card set up here. So I'll plug this adapter and put this in the yellow. So that way I remember that white is yellow. Come on. A little hard to do one-handed. Get in there. There we go. Hook this up through here. And next is the audio. And again, see that little Y splitter. It doesn't really matter what color you plug these into, I just, you know, because it's all just a mono signal, just brought in, you know, fake stereo, so. But, I'll just keep it color coordinated just to do it. And this doesn't give you the, the greatest quality in the world hooking it up through VCR, but it's still quality that you can capture with, and... It's also helpful, like I said, if you want to hook up your retro console and you might not have an RF switch or whatever to hook it up to. And see, there you see. Y splitter, you got stereo, video, it's coming in through here. So, and this VCR in particular requires you to play a tape in order for it to turn on. So I'll hit play on it real quick. Um, some of them might require you to play a tape for a little bit for it to turn on it and take control of the TV and you can also find those at thrift stores too if you don't have one there's the VCR hookup right there and let me just hook up the 7800 and uh, we'll show you how it looks on a regular TV and as you can see the 7800 is now hooked up so turn it on and make sure your VCR is on the right channel to Play the game, and then there you go. It's a not perfect quality, but it's enough quality that you can actually capture video and record stuff for your retro games. Especially if, like I said, if you looking to uh, show off some gameplay or do reviews and stuff for YouTube. 